Hey, what is going on guys? So you have the LG Smart TV. I'm going to show you how you can change your IP address, subnet mask, gateway, DNS server, or the MAC address, okay? Very, very simple. The first thing you got to do is go into your settings. So go ahead and grab your remote and you want to click on the gear icon right here. Tap on that and the right hand side you see all these um, icons pop up. Go ahead and grab your remote and click on the down button. You want to go all the way down to the purple one with the globe where it says network right there. Go ahead and click on OK. Give that one second. Okay, now what you want to do is go ahead and tap to the right, your, your right arrow. So you move over here. Now we want to go down to where it says Wi-Fi connection. And then go ahead and highlight it and then click on OK. Make sure that you're connected to your internet. You can see I have that ITSH guest, which is checked. So I'm connected to the internet. So now just go all the way down to advanced Wi-Fi settings. Highlight it and then click on OK. And now... What you can do is go down to here where it says edit, okay? And then highlight it and then click on enter. Okay, now a lot of you guys probably already have it set on set automatically. So if you try to move down or whatnot, you can't do anything. What you need to do is uncheck that set automatically. So just, it's already highlighted. So just press on the okay button and then that gets unchecked. And now you're able to change whatever you want to change here, okay? So for example, you have an IP address, subnet mask, gateway, server so let's just say if you want to go down and change your dns server just highlight it and then go ahead and click on ok on your remote and then go ahead and input your new um, dns um, dns server address just go you might want to go just go down to clear all down here and then you want to go ahead and type in a new dns address like for example i'll put in uh four eights here i'll go eight dot eight dot eight dot eight and then one more dot oops and then eight so you can see I have eight dot eight dot eight dot eight and then I would have to go to enter here and then once you change all the it's the same way changing the uh, gateway subnet mask and IP address anyways I just I just do the DNS as an example so once you fill in everything correctly it's already highlighted on connect just go ahead and click on OK and then boom that's it it's done and what you can do to check is you can just go ahead and click on the back button on your remote click on the back button and now you can see where I changed that DNS server to um, 48 it's right there so pretty simple and do, do the same thing with the uh, other addresses as well okay any questions, uh, just comment below.